everyone, Emma here from emmalouise.jamboronails.com.au. I'm just making this really super quick video today just to show you all of the different finishes that our nail wraps come in. So you'll notice in the catalogue or online that um, the nail wraps have a symbol beside them and that symbol helps us to determine which finish that nail wrap is. So I'm going to show you an example of each finish and let you know the symbol for that finish. Um, and just give you some little inside tips and tricks as well about how to tell and um, better understand which um, wrap you'll be getting. So our two most basic wraps are our gloss and our matte. Okay, so we'll start with the gloss. So this one here is called Boho Blossoms. So our gloss symbol is um, a black circle with like a white crescent moon at the top. And as you can see, it is a glossy finish, as the name suggests. So it sort of picks up light a little bit. It's got like a little bit of a shiny surface. Compare it to the matte. The matte is obviously a matte finish. So it doesn't pick up the light really at all. Um, the plastic backing obviously does there. Um, but it's quite different to the gloss in its finish. So if you put the two of them together and try and catch the light on them together, you'll see the gloss picks up that light, but the matte doesn't. So all of our wraps... Um, from here on in will have either a gloss or a matte finish. Um, so I forgot to mention matte symbol is a black circle. Okay, so now we'll explain, I'll explain the rest of the, the wraps as we go. So the next one is a sparkle. Um, so this one here is called Sun Bunny. And as you can see, it's called a sparkle because on the gold one, it's quite a sparkly background. Um, and then it has um, on the brown one, those rabbit ears also have a sparkle component to them as well. Now, all sparkle wraps are a gloss finish. And the symbol for sparkle is a white circle with a black diamond. Now, the sister of sparkles is this one here, which is luster. Um, so, lusters have a sparkly component to them, as you can see in the gold lines of Brooklyn Bridge. But you can see that, again, it's a matte finish. So because it's the opposite of sparkle, the symbol is a black circle with a white diamond. So two sparkly components, but one is a matte finish and one is a gloss. Beautiful. Next one is metallic. So metallic obviously has metallic in it. So you'll see on this one here, love it, see that the anchor and the stripes all have a metallic component to it. They're also metallic backed as well, which some of the others are as well, the sparkles also. So metallic has a glossy finish and its symbol is a white circle with a black line through it. The sister of this one is satin. So again, satin has a metallic component to it, which are the wings on the dragonflies on flyaway, but the background is matte. And because it's the sister of metallic, it's the opposite symbol. So it's a black circle with um, a white line. And again, you'll see one's glossy, one's not. The other finish that we have is a clear. So the symbol for clear is um, just a, a circle. So it's a white circle with a black outline. The clears um, come in a few different forms. So we actually have a pure clear, which is awesome for putting underneath um, our True Shine gel. So if you don't want to spend ages taking your True Shine gel off, um, a great way to avoid that is to put your clear wrap underneath, do your gel over the top, and then you can remove it just as you would a wrap rather than using the remover pockets. Um, so the clear wrap is awesome. It's also good for anyone who's like a nail biter and maybe doesn't want to use um, patterned wraps yet because they don't really want to draw attention to their nails. Um, they're good for if you've split your nail and you need to repair it and you don't really want to have any other patterns on. Um, they're great for males to wear. Um, if they don't want to wear patterns, um, yes, there are males in the world that like to wear jamberry. Um, and also they're really great for layering as well. So as you can see, it's got a clear background. You can see my thumb through this one here in the background. Um, so it's a white, this one's called white chevron on clear, obviously. Um, so let me just grab one of these to layer. It's not going to look really great because it's a pattern underneath it, but you can see that you can see through. So you can actually layer the wraps um, over the top of one another. I'll probably do another tutorial one day on actually how to layer the wraps, but they're really good. You can layer them over um, the True Shine gel or you can layer them over our lacquers. Um, it's just really important. 
again, I'll do a different tutorial, but with the lacquers, it's really important that you've allowed the lacquer to dry completely before you apply the wrap. Otherwise, um, it'll just lift pop straight off. Um, and with your gels, um, there's a specific order in which you need to do it as well. All right, so that's the clear. Um, I can't remember if I said the symbol for clear. It's a, just, just a, a white circle with a black background. The other finish we have is called a tint. I actually don't have a tint on hand at the moment and there's a good reason for that. There's only two in the range. Um, so one is called um, Hot Pink. It is, the tints basically are, uh, as the name suggests, um, they're not a solid colour. If you sort of hold them up to the light, they're, they're basically see-through. So it's just a tint. The other tint we have in the range is um, the white tip with pink. Um, so that's like a French manicure with a pink tint um, through the clear section. Um, and the symbol for tint is just a grey circle. Um, so that's all the finishes there, obviously, as well. So these are the adult sizes. Um, obviously, our juniors also come in all of those finishes as well. Um, the difference being between our adults and our juniors is the size of the wraps, obviously, and how many you get on the sheet. So. Um, on this sheet here, we've got 18 wraps on the adults. On the children's ones, or the juniors ones, I should say, we've got 42. Um, so these are great for little hands. They'll get lots of uses out of them. They're also really good for anyone with smaller nail beds, so adults with smaller nail beds, or toenails. Um, if you don't want to chop up your wraps, you can't be bothered, then just use these smaller ones for your toes, and they work really, really well. So the most important thing to remember from this, guys, is when you are ordering your wraps, be sure to check your symbols. Um, the finishes do wear differently for some people. Um, I generally say most people start with the basics um, and build from there. The sparkles and metallics can be slightly more difficult to apply for some people. They tend to be slightly thicker, um, so they take a little bit more work, sometimes a little bit less heat, a little bit more pressure. Um, but if you are ever concerned about um, how something's going to wear onto your nails, give me, um, drop me a line and I'll give you some information on some tips and tricks on maybe how to apply the different wraps. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this helps a little bit with your understanding of the symbols and I shall speak to you soon. Bye.